Robert Evans, Prince of Scottish Centre Halves, Captain Scotland against West Germany. Pennants were exchanged and 120,000 saw referee Ellis of Halifax spin the coin. Performing a captain's first duty, Evans won the toss. The Hamburg centre forward sailor kicked off. Big question for Scotland was whether the youngest representative 11 for some time would measure up to international responsibility. Blackpool goalkeeper George Farm was quickly in action. He put the ball to outside right Graham Leggett and Germany were in trouble. A German defender cleared badly, inside right John White fired a low shot into the net. Scotland had a goal on the board in 18 seconds. What an amazing start. Again Leggett had the ball. This time he shot, Tavisky couldn't get it away, Andy Weir scored. For Germany, the position was serious. Two goals down in seven minutes, high time to attack. Play transferred into the Scottish half, but a good shot went just over the bar. Far from panicking, the Germans threw off the shock of those two goals and began to play as if they were on level terms. With Farm out of position, Sailor scored. Only 14 minutes gone, the Germans now had little to worry about. But Scotland came back, and a sizzling header by Leggett brought their third goal. The match looked like developing into a goal orgy, especially when in the excitement of the moment, left-back Eric Caldo pushed the ball with his arm. Penalty against Scotland. Right-back Juskowiak scored from the spot. Five goals in the first half. Extraordinary in an international. Savitsky cleared well just after the interval. The experienced Robert Evans marshalled his young team wonderfully. Any doubts there may have been about the capabilities of this Scotland eleven were dissipated by that brilliant first half. Savitsky saved again. The Germans were a much better side in the second half. A German header was well saved. Andy Weir centred, forcing Germany to give a corner. But not one single goal was scored in the second half. In many ways, it was an astonishing match. Scotland had every reason to be well pleased by a great victory. Three goals to two.